Hi, I'm Helga from Helga's Pennsylvania Cooking. And today I'm going to share a really quick and easy recipe that I've been making for, oh my god, almost 30 years. <clears throat> um, it actually is one of uh, our nephew's favorite recipes. Uh, when he started to learn how to cook in his early teens, like 13, 14, this is one of the first things he asked me to show him how to make because this was one of his favorite meals. It's really simple, um, easy to do, but it tastes really good and makes you look like a rock star uh, when you make it. And like I said, it's really simple. Um, it's big on onions. If you don't like onions, you're not going to like this. This is the main ingredient. This is spaghetti with red onion wine sauce. Um, I'm going to show you here the pan. I already have um, a couple clove, a couple cloves of uh, garlic minced up in here, which I think you can see a little bit. And then I have four large onions and a little olive oil. And I am going to uh, saute this down. And once we got these sauteed down a bit, we'll make our red onion wine sauce. Okay, my onions are getting nice and translucent here, which is what you're shooting for. <clears throat> they're not quite all the way cooked yet, but they're, they're getting there, which is fine, because now we're going to add the good parts. So, one of the first things I'm going to do is to glaze this with some wine. It says red onion wine sauce. Got on, it's got wine in it. Um, this is actually made by Mike's sister and brother-in-law, and they make a bunch of their own different wines. Everything from red beet wine to the standard Niagara's and blushes, it's really good. And I love the Niagara. I love the Niagara for uh, making my drunken clams, which will be at another juncture. And uh, I love it for this recipe. It rocks. So, about a cup, about a cup. So we'll glaze our onions with that. And then just to make sure it's okay, a glass for me. Because you know, you really gotta check it out and make sure it's okay. It passes. Okay, so I got the wine in there. That the glazed our carrots nice. Okay, then we add a can of a uh, 14, 15 ounce can of diced tomatoes. And if you find the ones in the store that have um, the oregano or other seasoning in it, those are fine too. And then the heart of our sauce is the uh, big 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. Furman's, Furmano's is actually uh, Furman's Canning Corporation. It's a local canning company and uh, all that stuff is from uh, produce grown around here. So these are all local tomatoes here. And then I add <coughs> some parsley and my fresh parsley bit the dust outside. I guess it got too, I guess it got too uh, hot and I wasn't around to water it. So throw some parsley in. And also, this is some Italian seasoning. You use just oregano. This has garlic, thyme, oregano, and basil. And I like throwing some of this in. Um, I'll give approximate measurements down in my description below with the recipe. The biggest challenge in doing these videos for me um, with the cooking part has been the fact that I don't, <laughs> I don't properly measure things. I know how I've made it for all these years and I just do so I've had to kind of eyeball it and then go back and uh, put it in measuring things so that I can figure out to tell you about how much it makes. Hmm. Oh man that smells good. If you could smell this you would just die. I'm going to let this simmer off. Oh I forgot one other thing. Uh, I put half a lemon in for juice. So. Squeeze that in. And that's about everything. So give it a little bit of a mix. And I'm going to let this simmer down a little bit more. And when it's ready, we'll serve it up. Okay. 
Okay, this is simmered down about another five minutes. Um, you can get a good look here of what this looks like. What the onions look like. The sauce. I am going to uh, dish this up. I'm serving this tonight with a toss salad and some crusty uh, garlic bread with extra virgin olive oil and some parm cheese. So, uh, slide this across the top. Oh man, look at that. Like I said, if you don't like onions, this is not the dish for you. If you do like onions, you will love this. So, let me grab a fork. And there it is. This is what it looks like. I think you can see that okay. I mean, it's such a simple thing to make. Like I said, it's it's quick. The whole thing, it takes longer to do your, your pasta and cook your pasta than it does to make this, to make the sauce to go over it. And it actually is very good if you let it sit a night and uh, let the flavor sink in. It's really good the next day. Come here. Mm. It's really good, guys. And that is spaghetti with red onion wine sauce. So, have fun. I gave you some ideas. Serve a nice bottle of wine with it. And you've got a great dinner. Until next time. Bye.